Intel Old Lake. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? But we were side of that old garbage because Intel Raptor Lake is already on the way, and like its namesake suggests, it's about to charge into you at maximum speed. With the current rumors suggesting they will launch later this year. However, they may not be the next big step we were hoping for. Starting off with the actual specs, well, not much has really changed here. Seeing how the high end SKU, the 3900, will only boast. 8 performance cores just like before, but instead of having 8 efficiency cores, it's going to be doubled up to 16. Now hey, while doubling the efficiency cores does sound pretty cool, right now we can't really tell exactly what's actually going to do for overall performance, seeing how again, they are efficiency cores, not performance cores. Now that actually the overall clock speed is going to increase, so that's always going to improve performance, but it's very hard to tell whether this increase from 16 to 24 total cores is going to really mean much for the end consumer. And that's not even where the issues end for these upcoming CPUs. Let's talk PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. Now one great thing about these upcoming Intel Raptor Lake CPUs is that since they run on the same LGA 1700 socket, they are going to be compatible with current gen Z690, B660 and H670 boards. So hey, Good on you, Intel. However, those boards only support PCIe Gen 5 graphics cards. They don't have Gen 5 M.2 slots on them. So that means that unless there's going to be some kind of refresh or next generation of boards, then people will be left without PCIe Gen 5 support on the SSDs on this Intel platform. But don't worry, because there's actually going to be new 700 series motherboards, and they're not going to have PCIe Gen 5 support for M.2s either. Huh, so much for a new generation of motherboards, huh? That's right, early leaks suggest that these 700 series board also lack support for PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. Now granted, it did make sense for Z690, seeing how PCIe Gen 5 SSDs are only now starting to come out, but come on, really? Are your next gen motherboards really gonna lack such an integral feature? Oh man, after the amazing release of Old Lake, it looks like Raptor Lake will not be the next big step we're hoping for. Now instead it looks like Intel are returning to the old TikTok schedule for releasing CPUs, where one generation is based on a brand new process with a new socket and lots of new features, and the next generation after that is just a refresh with just slightly boosted performance. So hey, if the model worked before, I guess it's gonna work again now. So while it is kind of nice we are getting more performance with these CPUs, don't be too disappointed when they come around and they aren't gonna set the world on fire with innovation. Well, they are going to probably set the world on fire, but you know, I mean that in a good way. But let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about Intel Raptor Lake, and if you're going to be getting any of these brand new CPUs later this year. And hey, if you want to buy a Z690 board right now, then the Amazon links to some good ones are going to be down in the video description below. And if you like this video and you want to help us make more awesome videos in the future, then the best way to ensure that that will happen is to support us on Patreon, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing Patreon. Patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Then you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's how it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.